Alright guys, what's going on? It's Jack and welcome back to another video and you know today is actually a very very special day because on this day exactly six years ago on April 15th 2015 I created this channel and I believe on that same day I posted my first video as well as far as this channel the Jack of all trades is concerned so it's actually a very special day and coincidentally so and you know as of recently I have been inspired by I would probably say about three things right now and the title does not deceive I am back making videos and I am back making commentaries and I also wanted to ask you guys probably the one of the most important questions that I've ever asked my viewers basically and that is why do you watch my content or why are you subscribed to me and or both I don't know they go hand in hand I guess because like like I said recently I've been inspired by a few things I'm gonna tell you what those few things are number one I survived <laughs> I survived the YouTube burnout so to speak because I stopped posting videos and I did not want to post videos and I just decided not to push it anymore at the time because life from all different angles long story short was closing in on me and basically at the end of the day YouTube as well as the state of Call of Duty was just too much of a negative it was just too negative for me to just keep going so it's like yeah let's step away we'll probably we'll probably stop for good but uh, you know we could always come back if we ever changed our minds there's always two sides to the coin anything can happen in life you know how, how it goes so and then also yesterday I saw murder show you know he's, he's a Call of Duty content creator great guy he's been sticking to his guns and basically like he was basically grinding. He is still continuing to grind the game, even though he is not. Um, how do I put this? He's not fully enjoying the flaws of this game specifically, Black Ops Cold War. And that man is just streaming, grinding, and continuing to post footage regardless of whatever. He's 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 grinding. He's basically being one hundred thousand percent faithful. To the viewers and subscribers that basically have been supporting him all along let's put money aside right because some content creators are big and successful enough to make some money from this or a lot of money and some are simply not making a damn dime but let's put that aside because that's not important that's that's besides the point what's important is the fact that he remained faithful to his viewers that were faithful to him now despite the fact that I am way smaller than this guy and I obviously don't make any money doing this um, I can say that I do have a a sort of a support base I don't like to use the term fan base I have a group of supporters here, sometimes more, sometimes less, but for the most part, I have a group of supporters here that will support me, even if I make a, ba a, a video, whether it bangs or whether it completely shits the bed, so to speak, I got people that will support me no matter what. They want to see me succeed, and for whatever reason, they subscribe to me and they continue to watch me to this day. Um, now, we all know that YouTube basically likes to hide comments they block notifications they unsub people or on that kind of stuff but that's besides the point and the thing is what where murder show comes in into the play here is that he he knows why his viewers are sub to him and why they watch him and why they support him and he is basically ex saying thank you by basically continuing to do his thing regardless of the fact that whether he wants to or not which says a lot about the person as well. Now, granted, I do know when money is comes into play, it's a lot harder to stop doing something, whether you enjoy it or not. Uh, when you make, even when you make money at it, like for instance, literally today, I for the next week I adjusted my schedule to where I would be working ten hours less, and even though I'd be losing money from it, I'm working ten hours less because I am simply happier doing so. So the thing is, sometimes, guys, money doesn't matter whether you're making more or not. It's it's the meaning behind it sometimes that matters more. And the thing is, and that's why I asked you guys this in the first place. I've gotten multiple answers throughout the years, but I really need a refresher in this. Why do you watch me? 
I don't know if other content creators count or not because usually con uh, other content creators count uh, I'm sorry don't count um, at least not the way regular viewers do that are not content creators because usually content creators what they do is they just kind of support each other because solely because of the fact that they're content creators and they're kind of like you know friends in that aspect but even if you are a content creator and if you do watch my stuff and you actually enjoy watching my stuff or you watch my stuff for whatever reason I would like to know why it is besides the fact that we are all on the same boat besides that why do you watch my stuff why is it entertaining to you or why does it you know what what is the fact that draws you to me because um i've mentioned this back before i got hit with the depression bug the youtube depression bug the life depression bug everything coming in from every angle when you get hit from something like this you know i mean i'm sure nero cinema himself knows a few things about this so for, just to give you an example, there's others besides Nero. I'm sh every other con every content creator out there knows this. Bo knows this both both big and large, uh, big and small. But uh, but the thing is, I've mentioned before I got like a while before I got hit with that bug. Uh, I mentioned that I have an obligation to my viewers to keep doing what I'm doing because com commentaries are what they're here for. I've heard from some people that I am a top tier commentator. I've heard from other people that they just think that I'm chill and I say it like it is or whatever the hell it is. I mean, sometimes I'm chill and sometimes I'm not. There's been there's been plenty of times throughout the history of this channel these last six years that where I've lost my shit completely, no doubt about it. And I'm going to let that out. I'm always going to be continuing to be me and there are going to be tons of people that are also going to dislike my videos. But there's always going to be more that like my videos, which I greatly appreciate. And for those of you guys that comment, apparently it helps the algorithm out. So thank you very much for that. That's That's awesome. Thank you. And uh, by the way, I also wanted to tell you guys that there's also going to be, uh, not including this video, there's also going to be slight changes to the editing a little bit. It's going to be upgraded a little bit, so that way I could be a little bit more on par with the guys like Blame Truth and Thunder and stuff like that. There's going to be subtle little upgrades here and there. Again, I'm not claiming to be as good as they are, but uh, from a commentary and basic editing standpoint, I know I could be just as good as they are, and I know I can hold my ground, especially that I know that I can. So... um. So yeah, I am I'm going to be uh, making those changes. Now, the only thing is I am only going to be posting, I'd probably say in the beginning to start, I'd probably say about mm, maybe three videos a week or so just to kind of, so I kind of get in the groove. But one of the things that I do know is that when my commentary game is on, it's on and I know that I could be just as good as, you know, some of the other smaller guys that are top tier out there or some of the bigger guys that are top tier out there when it comes to commentaries. Now, I'm strictly saying commentaries because from a gameplay perspective, I'm not one of those guys that reverse boosts. If you reverse boost, that's whatever, that's on you. But for me, I am not going to reverse boost. I'd rather be more like the murder show where he's not reverse boosting, he's just getting on there and playing games. And when it comes to the gameplay, the gameplay is just a bonus, but it's not the meat and potatoes, you know what I mean, of the commentary, especially if you've got the gift, so to speak, or the natural talent or the work put in to be a pretty decent commentator. Um, at least that's what my belief is. But at the same time, you guys could give me some feedback, whether it's in the comment section or whether it's on Twitter. I would greatly, greatly appreciate it because I really do want to know your perspective, especially now that I've been inspired and reinvigorated. And one more other thing that I was inspired by last night was a video made by John Campia. Now, John Campia is a, uh, a movie channel. Basically, he, covers, he talk, talks about everything movies. He makes videos and streams every day, basically. He basically cuts bits from his videos and posts them at, bits from his stream and posts them as videos or whatnot. And uh, great logical guy, great content. I watch him every day uh, because I'm, I am a movie buff. I really love movies and I like to hear uh, different people's opinions on movies and stuff like that. So there's a handful of guys that are like that that I watch. I watch a couple guys like Jeremy Johns and, and Chris Stuckman, for instance. But the thing is that he made a video solely dedicated to talking about like YouTube and how you can make it on YouTube and stuff like that. And some of the things he had to say were not only extremely logical, especially as a content creator myself that I've been doing this for like, I don't know if I can count it as full six years because I've been very inconsistent over the last the last year. So let's say over the last five plus years when I was as I was consistent before this last year. Um, I could say that uh, I do relate and I do very much understand more than a lot of people, more than your average viewer, so to speak, especially those that are just viewers of where he's coming from when he says the things that he said on, in that video. And it was like, I don't know, I think it was like an hour and a half long video or something like that or longer, but uh, very, very informative. And that is part of the reason why I wanted to ask you guys that question. Why do you watch me? 
I know, like in terms of the kind of videos that I make, I know why I'm making them, but why are you here to watch me is the big thing. And I know in terms of the amount of time that I have because of my schedule and the way I work on a normal basis and, and everything like that, I know how much time I have and what I don't have, and I know what is possible and what is not in terms of what I can provide. And let me tell you something, whether you're good at something or not, after you do it for a certain period of time, especially when it comes to years, you're going to get good at it and you're going to learn things from other people and from other videos and, and by other means of how to improve your craft. And a lot of time, rep, a lot of times repetition makes the master. And if something isn't quite right, you tend to kind of correct it yourself. You tend to do some research. Sometimes you just get better over natural practice as well. That's another thing. Practice is a big thing. So over the years for me to do uncut commentaries and to not say, uh, all the time takes a lot of time. And to this day, sometimes I still say, um, a lot, or I say, you know, a lot, but usually when I'm in the groove, I'm in the groove and the more consistent I am, the better I am at it. So, um, and I do realize that there are those of you, some of you guys are newer than others, but for whatever reason that you are here, first of all, I wanted to say thank you for your support. And just because I'm not making money out of this doesn't mean I'm not getting support. It's not about the support. It's a, it's not about finance, all about financial support. It's about your opinions. It's about the comments you leave in the comment section, the likes or dislikes you leave in the videos, uh, the tweets on Twitter, uh, the friendships you make, the people you meet. That is where the meat and potatoes is, especially if you are a small content creator that is basically still trying to basically in a certain degree figure out their identity or how to max out their their potential here on YouTube. And again, it doesn't it doesn't limit itself to financial success. Financial success is great and that's a huge bonus. Uh, but and for some people, that's a lot because they do this for a living. But ultimately, it's all about the relationship you have with your viewers. So um, I'm glad to be back. I'm glad to be invigorated. I, this is not being forced at all. And one of the things that brought me back and I'll go this go this uh, more in depth in another video. Another thing that brought me back was Switching to mouse and keyboard, as well as, you know, you know, kind of mouse and keyboard forward slash PC, uh, even though I'm playing on console, so I'm actually at a disadvantage. But um, but it's it's that and the fact that I took time off and just went with my gut. So there's a lot more to it than that, but I thought that'd be enough for today. So please, if you would please do me a favor and write down in the comment section and type out in the comment section your personal reason. There's no right or wrong answer, but your personal reason as to why you're here and, and what you expect from me or whatever it is. So thank you all for the love and support. Even though I've been gone, I know that there are some of you that are still here. Thank you very much. That means so much to me. And I'll catch you guys on the next one soon. Take care.